All right, welcome back to That's Right Recycling. So uh, tonight, I'm sitting here going after these little gold pens, but I have to clean up with the waste. So uh, what do I, uh, squeeze on that piece of plastic right there. Get the little screwdriver in there. Pull. That's waste. And then there's some little copper and I don't know what the silver is yet. I just popped it off. Silver color, I should say. It's probably aluminum. But uh, the pens is what we want. But I'm going to leave them on the boards for now. And then I'll go. There's another one. It's all gold flashed. Unless you find something older, there'll be a lot more heavy gold on it. But newer stuff, I believe, is gold. Gold flashed. So that's what I'm doing. I got a five gallon barrel bucket full of gold processing that needs to be done. So if you want to hang out and watch, hang out. If not, oh, no big deal. I don't know how to separate the metal off of these. I've never done these before, so trying to find out. I've never seen anybody on YouTube break these down. I didn't bother trying to look because it's like uh, first time for me, so I might as well just figure it out on my own. Whether I'm doing it the right way, the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't see no screws. So it's cold outside. It's not bad inside. I broke down a bunch of computers today. So after I watched a few YouTube videos, I'm like, ah, started to fall asleep, but it's too early to fall asleep, so I gotta stay busy. So. Let's see what happens here. I don't want to mess with the gold. I don't want to try to damage it. Well, that was too easy. Sweet. Okay. Look at that. Nice little gold board with two small little uh, copper troidals. Itty bitties. Let's see if I can't pop that off without... Making a bigger mess. Oh yeah. What is this? Oh, well. It's either stainless or aluminum. So, let's see here. Pull you off like so. Mm. Oh! I hope I didn't drop something. <laughs> Like I said before, sometimes I find the floor is the safest place. Just take your time when you sweep up and reinspect. Reinspect. Now a heat gun might be the option for this, but which I do have one, <clears throat> but I don't know. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Where'd it go? It's right there. Uh, sure. okay, I'll do the rest of those and put the heat, I think, as I grab the screwdriver. <laughs> Try to do this without cutting myself. Blade away from my fingers. Yeah. That'll definitely have to be heat. So... Let me see here. Well, I'll just stick these up top in my secret stash. Make a the filing cabinet. <laughs> but I have nothing else sitting up there but them pieces. So hopefully I don't forget. So. Hmm. Let's see. Let's pick something different out. Hmm. 
Little MOSFET. Number two copper. Take a hammer, smash the plastic off. I just keep collecting them. Keep collecting them for that 55 gallon drum, Dan. <laughs> you never know. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there it is. Screwdriver. See if I can get lucky and just get the uh, gold piece to pop off. And unscrew a little more. Gonna remove the bracket. Yeah, that just removes the bracket. Okay. Well, that piece right there's got gold legs coming off of it. This black 04A thingy. So I'm gonna leave that on there. Then uh, let's. We'll let Mr. Scorpion make a decision on what he wants me to do with it. But I'm going to try to get much of the plastic off of everything. Something else with a bunch of gold. There you go. You see that okay? And what are we going to do with all this gold? Eh, don't know yet. We may try to do it ourselves or sell the board source, maybe. Find a refiner, maybe. Don't know. There we go. <clears throat> Trim this plastic off. Some people think things are funny. Now this, I don't even. Doesn't really look like a wire is in there. Kind of looks like fiber optics, but I'm not sure. Let's set it to the side. More or less, I'm just going to be trimming wires. Some of this I might not even have to be doing, but I'm just doing it. Why not? I do have a heat gun, so maybe it'll be a follow-up video where I take the heat gun and I heat the solder joints on the back and take it right off. Maybe that'll be better. Better ideal. Didn't really think this all the way out. I just grabbed a bucket and let's make a video. Yeah, that goes into that. That one's got gold legs on it. Can't see it there, but right up in there. What are you doing, scrap pup? See, I came across something like this beauty. kind of modular and even if it's gold plated it's still gold 
Like I said, I got a whole five gallon bucket full. Uh, this. Looks like some kind of computer was at one time. I'm not sure. I, mean, I got this one in here, like it's a keyboard or a keyboard, a calculator or something that was push button. Like I said, I got a whole five gallon bucket. So, I'm just cleaning, learning, staying busy. Somebody leave a comment down below if they know anything else, other process of doing this. These are riveted in, so I would most likely just drill them out they're not soldered in so I just drill them out and that piece should pop out then break it down more but this piece is definitely soldered in right there and this is just hanging sitting on that cushion like thing and you're asking where did you get all these well, <laughs> I got all these given they were given to us by Scrappy JC. So you ain't had the time. I ain't got the time. So, okay. I always got time for gold. Do a little here, do a little there. Sooner or later it gets all done. Pretty. Alright, I gotta readjust myself. I gotta, gotta give me a better get a better comfortable chair. Whew. Maybe my buddy e -Waste Michael watched this video since he won't watch my shorts when I had a question for him. Maybe he'll watch this video and let me know what I'm playing with. Doubt it, but maybe. Won't even tag him in it. Why waste a tag? Oh, well, cool, it popped out. Let's see here. No. That's staying on there pretty good. Let's see what goes on back here. Well, sticks. Does the gold stick? Nope. <laughs> That's a bonus. Wouldn't it be funny if I was playing with fool's gold? Do all this prepping for nothing? Nah. Scrap a JC, don't mess around like that. Man. Come on, baby. That one, yep, the five. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Looks like the five's got gold on underneath it, too, gold legs. Set that there. Put that up there with other little pieces of gold. Don't want to get lost. I can't find something to set. And that's the same thing. I just trim this piece of plastic off. Oh, man, I gotta readjust again. Oh. Man.
Well, I won't bore you too much because it's nothing but small, tedious, over and over and over. Let me uh, pull you off the tripod and I'll show you the bucket. Like I said, one five gallon bucket full. Little connections that have gold on them. I like to find a, I like to find a couple more of these suckers. That'd be nice. But it's all the, oh, look at that. I just talked about it. I just found it. Sweet. Mm. Let's see what else? Let's see if we can find another one. Come on, give me another one. Gentle. Be gentle. Mm. Well, if I come across any more, I'll come back. Well, I only found two of these. I got 25 of these boards, so that's really nice. And then about... 50 or 60 of these but there was a couple couple things stuffed in there so it made it look like it was fuller but it's it still got a lot in there still a lot, a lot more to break down whether or not everything is gold like that no but then I, I found this old board with the nice big moffets on it but what's really nice about this old board is Look how thick them gold legs are. Look at that. My heavens, focus. Those are some pens. Nice. Of course, we got the Moffats. No big deal. That's what we like, though. Get that gold.